listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need all right, we are starting off with a simple work look on this Monday morning. This look is really all about balancing out the kimono. This is such a beautiful piece. It's one of my favorite. It's got gorgeous color and pattern and the big cuff. It's really fun, but it could be a lot for work. So I decided to pair these simple wide leg breezy trousers with a really fitted white tee that's just two basics to go underneath. And then this handbag is nice and big, so it fits my laptop and anything else that I need. Really the point of this look is to show that you don't need to sacrifice on style in the workplace, but you do need to be considerate of it. So wearing simple pieces underneath lets the kimono shine. Now this look is probably one of the more classic looks you're gonna find when you look up like kimono outfits. And that's because it sort of features these bohemian details. Vintage Levi's, a lace blouse. Now I decided to add in nude pumps and that was just cause I wanted some height, but I didn't wanna add anything else into the outfit. So the nude pump really disappears. If you live in a cold weather environment, you're gonna wanna layer a coat over pretty much every one of these outfits. But I wanted to show you the outfits that would go underneath the coat. When you're home or you're at lunch or you're running errands, you're gonna be really cozy wearing this sort of draped robe over you and a coat when you're outside. So it may seem kind of weird to wear like a cropped leather jacket over a floor length kimono, but actually that's why I wanted to do it. I think it's really fun to wear this sort of smaller scaled jacket with the oversize. I was able to pull the faux fur cuff out of my sleeve, which looked really cool. And as you can see, when you walk away, it almost like the way that it drapes out the back is really pretty. And because that had such a high statement, I wanted everything else to be simple. So that's why I picked up some of the colors within the kimono, put on these really simple skinny jeans, black patent loafers, my hair up, called it a day. The minute that I put this look on, I like wanted to go out for happy hour drinks with girlfriends. It was just so fun. So just because your kimono might be full of like bold colors or bold prints, it does not mean that the rest of the outfit has to be boring. You can add in fun statement heels like this. I DIY these on my channel so you guys can actually see these shoes. And I decided to pick up a color that was within my kimono. So I found that really cool sky blue and I put on this beautiful cropped sweater dress underneath. It's short, so I put on some nylons and I also decided to tie it in the front, which gave the baggy kimono and the baggy sweater more of a waist, which just made me feel a little bit sexier and more put together. All right, as you can see, I pulled the old switcheroo for this date night. I kind of felt like the lace-up sweater was a little too busy with the kimono, like they were in two different lands, so I didn't love it. So I swapped out my sweater, and I also decided to put on tights and knee-high boots, and that was really just a function of weather. For warmth's sake, tights and knee-high boots are a lot better than a bare leg and ankle boots, so I swapped those out. But again, I picked a color that was featured in my kimono, so they work really well together. Even though there's a big pattern and bold color, they tie in in a really soft, feminine, beautiful way. <laughs> 